a North Berwick home up in flames, the coastal wind fanning the fire. The wind blew pretty good sized chunks of burning wood way, way out in the neighbor's yard. The cause is still undetermined, but forest rangers say the dry conditions allowed the fire to spread well beyond the home, engulfing cars and trees more than an acre away. There was ice underneath the matted grass, but it burned right across the top. Maine Forest Ranger Matthew Bennett says it's an example of how strong winds and dry conditions can make matters worse. But there are different cases where it's not just the weather that's to blame. Almost every single fire that I've responded to has been someone burning without a permit. He's gone from town to town over the past few days, encountering what he says are preventable fires. In almost every case, the fire's gotten away from them. In some cases, basic safety measures weren't being taken. They didn't have a garden hose out, they didn't have hand tools out, so it was just carelessness 100 percent. And when it comes to brush fires, we're not out of the woods just yet. Even if you had a pile a day or two ago and maybe you did it with or without a permit and you got away with it, go check on it today. Now today, many towns stopped issuing burn permits altogether and what rangers say some departments will do is actually call people who already have permits for that day and just warn them about the conditions. But rangers say the best thing you can do is be proactive to prevent these fires. Live in North Berwick, Joe Glauber, WMTW News 8.